Hi, Steve here with more mobile internet. Today I want to talk about uh, the Samsung SCH LC11 and in particular the antenna ports on the back. Uh, as you notice, um, this is a live device that I've got powered up. It's got the battery behind the panel here and there's nothing, There's unless you take the back off, which you go like this. Oops. It's actually not that hard when you're looking at the device, not through a camera lens. So anyway, that's the battery behind the device. As you can see, <clears throat> uh, there's no way uh, around the battery unless you take it out. Now, I have another one here with the battery off. Now, look at this. If you look at here closely, it's got R2, R1. Radio 1, Radio 2 is what I assume that uh, stands for. Those look very much like antenna ports, just like they would be on the back of this. This is ones for 3G, ones for 4G, uh, off of a USB modem like the UML290 here. But how the heck does this make any sense at all? They're behind the battery, which you have to have the battery on to make it work. I tried plugging this device in without uh, the battery and it does not work. So even though you the battery doesn't necessarily have to be charged, you can have it plugged in, the battery still has to be there. So to me, I just don't get why the heck they have these, uh, these antenna ports there behind the battery. So uh, that's really strange if you ask me. And uh, one of the things I'm uh, kind of wondering about this Samsung. The other issue uh, that's not a big deal, but um, that would be nice is if this had a battery meter so you could tell when your battery was getting low. Because as it stands now, basically the battery lasts about three hours and then it just shuts off. So those are two of the, the curious things that could have easily been uh, remedied with this device. Thanks for visiting more mobile internet. And if you know why those radio buttons are there, then uh, please comment below. Thanks for visiting moremobileinternet.com.